Okay, Melissa, I'm going to start videotaping from the front door. Very tall ceilings, and the ceiling has a nice design. I believe that is standard, but I'll double check that. You come into a nice foyer area. Um, by the way, this unit has more of a modern design that the decorator picked. Some of the other ones have a more coastal Florida design, um, which personally I like a lot better. The tile is a an engineered wood. It's not tile, it's an engineered wood. Um, but that is something that you would get to choose. Um, immediately to the right is a little alcove here leading to one of the bedrooms. We've got a light coming in. It's got a doorway so you can keep it separate and quiet from the main living space windows everywhere. <clears throat> um, this has a tray ceiling and I believe this is an upgrade possibility. And it's got the special air conditioning vents that I'll show you and tell you a little bit more of. Um, this is an ensuite room. Closet has upgraded shelving. And this is the attached ensuite bathroom, which is a Jack and Jill connecting it to the other one. This has um, tile on the walls, two sinks, and a separate shower toilet area. So it opens into both bedrooms. So the next one is very similar with uh, I love these windows because it has an extra one in the middle that doesn't open. The other two open, but it brings in a lot of light. This has the same ceiling, same flooring. Okay, so I'm going to show you one thing that they've thought of, which is great. Oh, first the closet. It's probably very similar. Yeah, similar to the last one. Okay, so the guest bathroom, in case you wanted to close this door and both units, uh, units uh, bedrooms were being used with guests, the other one can have access to this bathroom at night and there's a guest half bath here outside the door of the second room. So it has single sink, single toilet. Okay, so now we come out of the hallway. We're back at the front door. This has a second lighting source and another tall ceiling here. We're coming into the living room. They dredged it. They carved it out. So this is original water. And the kitchen. So here is the AC units. Is that pond over there in that? Vents. This is the upgraded all ceiling. Usually all of these are connected. Okay, so the shelves, so, and they are, the TV really wall, the fire uh, uh, place is an upgrade, and I think Ken said that you did want that. It's very nice. It has the lighting under the shelves, and you get to pick the tile around the fireplace. There's spring water and stuff, otherwise it would probably... Okay, so you have two up. sets That's of sliders out, out to the lanai. Because I have a pond in my house <clears> in Florida, <throat> and it's, it's a I wanted to show you the dining pond. area. So this is what we were thinking about, whether summer, your table would fit or whether we need to get another one. But it's staged. It's never been... It's really a continuation of the kitchen rather than a second separate dining space. Uh, now, these uh, cabinets are an upgrade here, so if you did not have that, your table could shift to the left even more and make a longer space. So in the kitchen, we have a large island with seating area here. Standard are the cabinets up to there. Upgrade is the secondary cabinets, she said. They're all quiet clothes, which is nice, and it is a gas community, so you have the gas stovetop. All the houses the same color, or is there like a certain We have four colors. Okay, so this is an upgrade also. 
the Butler's Pantry wine bar area. If you do not get this upgrade, it's like an indentation, and Ken thought maybe that you could put some of the stereo equipment in there on a shelf if you didn't want it. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and take you into some of the other bedrooms.